Job Seekers Workshop is happening on 12th of October in Delhi and the last date of registration for Delhi event is on 28th of September. In Pune the event is happening on 19th of October and the deadline for Pune event is 10th of October. After Pune I'm going to Bangalore and the event in Bangalore is happening on 2nd of November and the deadline for Bangalore event is 22nd of October. So after Bangalore we are going to Hyderabad and the Job Seekers Workshop event in Hyderabad is happening on 9th of November. For this event the deadline for the registration is 29th of October. Chennai in the list. In Chennai the Job Seekers event workshop is happening on 16th of November. The last date for registration in Chennai is 6th of November. And in Mumbai Job Seekers workshop is happening on 23rd of November and the deadline for Mumbai event is 13th of November. In Kolkata the event for Job Seekers workshop is happening on 30th of November and the deadline for Kolkata event is 20th of November and in Ahmedabad workshop for job seekers is happening on 7th of December. The event in Kochi for job seekers workshop is happening on 14th of December and the last date to register for Kochi event for job seekers workshop is 4th of December. You simply have to go ahead and do the payment of 2000 rupees for the workshop for job seekers and you will secure your seat. Whichever platform you have chosen and you have paid the money, you take the screenshot of your transaction and send us an email. This is the email which is meetupwithnick at jnmeducation.com and the subject line should be the city where you are from and in the body of the email put the screenshot of the transaction. That's all. Alright guys, welcome back once again. I'm standing here with Rishi. He's here to share his experience of how he got job while he was in India. He did not come on a job seeker visa. First thing, can we start with your introduction first? So my name is Rishikesh and I, I come from Pune. I did my B.Tech in Computer Science and I've been working since 2011, that is close to 8 years. Okay. Uh, mostly in, in software industry. I Before coming to Berlin, I worked in a couple of companies back in India. We mostly were doing back-end jobs in, in the beginning and then I switched to more front-end and DevOps stuff. So I call myself full start developer now. I'm still, still kind of catching up with the technologies. Okay, okay. And what skills do you have? I used to code back in, in India in Java and Scala a little bit. After coming here, I catched up with Kotlin as well because these guys use Kotlin heavily. And on, on front-end side, I use React.js a little bit. And on DevOps, it's AWS, Kubernetes and, and so many things. <laughs> Alright, so let's narrow down this talk. Imagine that there is someone who is watching us and he may be confused or she may be confused like where do I start from? Just walk us through how how would you suggest others to do it? The most important thing is to have the basics right and uh, there are multiple platforms to search jobs in, in Europe. The website that I used is Stack Overflow where most of the, the European countries list their jobs. The process is quite quite simple. You just apply their jobs on the Stack Overflow. Yeah, you keep applying and if you're lucky, you'll, you'll get a reply back from them. So for me, I applied close to 15 companies. Uh, out of that, I just got a reply from two of them, uh, which, which I eventually interviewed with. He's currently working in Zalando. You do what? I am a full stack developer. I do uh, front end, back end, and most of the DevOps stuff as well. Right. What kind of jobs are there for Stack Overflow with this kind of skills in Germany? Stack Overflow has has a has a good filters, so you can enter the technologies that you already know, and then filter the jobs accordingly. For example, if you know Java, you can just type in uh, Java as a keyword there, and say say filter. It will list down all the jobs. You can also search geographically. For example, if you want j the jobs in just Berlin, then just just choose Berlin. It will show all the jobs matching your profile and the location as well. For example, Java, whatever, Kotlin and Berlin, it will list down all the jobs and they, they'll, they'll specify whether they sponsor visa or not. Right. So just choose accordingly. And never for a moment you thought that I should take a job seekers visa, go to Germany and find a job? Mm, not really. So I, I heard about job seeker visa back so some time back. But it, it sounded like a risky job for me yeah. but because uh, the visa is valid for some time then Six you months, come yeah. here and then you spend your own money from your own pocket and if, you, if you're lucky enough you'll get a job. After coming here what I realized is uh, uh, the Berlin market is, is super cool but at the same time it is way more competitive than back in India. The, the number of jobs or the quantity of jobs is, is kind of similar uh, if you look at the city like Pune. 
but it is not as competitive as 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 here because people expect a lot of things from you when you come here because back in india we we used to do uh, things in a certain way which which doesn't work here sometimes that's true can you walk us through the when you went through this interview of zalando what questions were asked i need like real details and how many mm-hmm. rounds did you go through what kind of challenges were kept in front of you and what level of interview after applying on stack overflow i got got a email from from the recruiter and after that i had close to 6 rounds including the the round with the recruiter when you got a reply yeah. was there a third party sitting in between or was it a hr from zalando yeah it, it was a recruiter from zalando oh okay Directly. interesting so you yeah. said like 6 rounds of interview yes. just walk us through uh, not too much in detail but mm-hmm. like what happened in every round if you can sure yeah so the first round was with with the recruiter where he he uh, he kind of got to know me better Uh, in terms of what i've listed on the resume and how, how long i've been working on and which companies i worked with in the, in the next round which was the codeility test which was uh, kind of a link to the problem where i had to code sit back at home and code in in some some certain amount of time uh, i think we had uh, three problems to solve in one and a half hours so i coded them and i it, it it's a platform so i i sent the solution already and then uh, the recruiter must have sent it back to some some a developer to assess it and then he got back to me that the score looks good and we can move forward with uh, all the all the rest of the interviews how how long did it take for you to for them to get back to you uh, i think it 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 was it was a week uh, yeah. after the test yeah and when you were given this qu- uh, question codeility yeah. yeah. how long did it take you to solve and give it back ah uh, it was it was all all time bound so uh-huh. i had to solve it in one and a half hours oh no my god option. okay yeah. uh-huh. all right so go ahead what happened after the second round so after the second round uh, uh, there were it, it there was another screening round from the team which i was being hired for so it it was uh, one hour interview with which again uh, it was very detailed uh, as well as uh, very broad as well because uh, uh, the guy who was interviewing me he literally asked me all the questions regarding all the technologies on my resume so you can't really fake it like so for example uh, I, i had listed mongodb on my resume as well as uh, uh, mysql for example they are totally different kind of databases and then he asked me you use this, this database and this as well why can't you how, how can you combine them then i i told him that i used this one in my previous company and this one in the in the next company okay like this what happened on third fourth fifth sixth uh round? it it was interesting actually after the screening round they were back to back three rounds same uh, day not not the same day once uh, after this it, it took i think uh, maybe maybe a week or so to to uh, for them to get back the, to you exactly and then uh, there were three rounds back to back uh, one hour each uh-huh. there was no time in between right and three different people were interviewing me for for three different use cases like for example first two interviews were mostly uh, data structures and algorithms and the third round was uh, more of a system design and there was no time so i was i was back in india and uh, it was happening here in the in the in- evening time so it was night for me already yeah what happened in the last round uh, the last round was with with the hiring manager and uh, where he he was looking at the the team fit and the cultural fitment uh, how i behave what what happens in case of conflicts and everything uh, so it it was typical managerial round right, i can right. say yeah. if you were to go back now yeah. um, and change few things mm-hmm. in the whole process not just zalando but anything mm-hmm. what would that be well to be honest i didn't didn't really filter out companies i didn't know what zalando was before yeah so i just applied applied to most of the companies like 15 companies and these were the guys who got back to me and that's why i interviewed with them but after coming here uh, i realized it's, it's it's a really big company it's it's similar to mintra back in india right uh-huh. they, they sell yeah, clothes yeah. online yeah i think i think the market study and the getting to know more about the companies is something that i missed totally i think <laughs> right the market is good but at the same time it is very competitive so Absolutely. you have to be on top of things and learn things i've seen some guys who are on job seekers visa and when when i talk to them they don't know much um, about about the technologies the latest latest technologies because back in india we work in a different kind of environment where the con- companies are generally consultancies or service companies you work for someone else and there is not not enough choice to implement latest technologies like these companies are using what technologies so, these guys are using so for example in in case of deployment uh, strategies and everything a lot of companies are are not even close to continuous delivery or continuous deployment they just have manual releases after 3 months 6 months here it's totally different and the, the technologies underlying are, are totally different too for right. example uh, for, for me even i didn't use a technology like kubernetes for example back in india i came here i learned it here so see when you were going through a series of interview in india right 
I'm sure when you're getting through so many rounds of interview, your your expectation of being selected goes high. Like you know, you you yeah. you're like, oh, I think I'm I, I think I'm gonna get this job. I think I'm gonna get this job. So the whole intention of getting job becomes on priority number one versus how much these guys are gonna pay you. Uh, was yes. it about was it about let me get there somehow? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll figure yeah. it out. Was that the situation? Yeah, I think so. Because I started okay. interviewing with uh, with Zalando uh, in the beginning, and then Transferwise in, somewhere in the middle. I remember I, I gave the first screening interview, and that's when Transferwise guys also replied back to me that they want to interview me as well. And uh, then I started the interview process parallelly. <laughs> so I was interviewing with both the companies uh, parallelly, and then what happened is, uh, like you said, I didn't didn't care about or salary was not no, not really a concern exactly. Yeah. So okay. I didn't even know what what they offer in Europe because I never really studied about oh it. God, okay. So <laughs> that's the funny part. And how long did it take for 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 a company to give you the contract and getting the visa done all that? Uh, yeah, so I think uh, after, after the interview process, they, Zalando got back to me uh, in like three weeks, which which is unusual because when I talk to people, it's hardly a week or something. Yes. They just get back to people in in, in a week or so. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it was, it was a special case. I think uh, they got back to me after three weeks, and uh, by then I had already applied for a uh, for a visa appointment, and I already had a visa appointment in hand. I was just waiting okay. for the hard copy of the contract from them. Right, right. Uh, because I heard that uh, uh, German consulate in Mumbai, they need need the hard copy of the yes, contract. Yes. So the soft copy is not generally yeah. allowed. So, okay. yeah. Do you have a blue card? Yes, now yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That I already estimates. I can estimate the salaries, which falls in what bracket, right? Okay. Rishikesh, how are you managing your expenses? Because you're here with your wife also. Yeah, yeah. Is she working? Uh, not yet. She she just arrived uh, one and a half months back. Okay. In, in July, so. Right. Right. So how how are you guys managing the expenses like you know with the accommodation with mm -hmm. her insurance I think you know yeah. all that yeah, yeah, yeah. do you so, want to throw some light on that sure yeah, yeah. so uh, I live in an apartment which which uh, the rent is close to 800 euros okay and uh, I didn't really calculate the all all the expenses but I think. Uh, uh, electricity internet and everything it, it, it goes around 50 euros I think uh, or close to 80, 50 to 80 mm -hmm. uh, it depends and then uh, monthly expenses like eating out cooking and everything grocery it can go close to 200 to 300 I think so 800 plus let's say 200 thousand yeah. euros yeah plus electricity yeah in, in total, it can it can go up to 1200. 1200 yeah. 1200 yeah. euros for a for a month for two people. Yeah. While she's not even working. Yes. Okay. Because she, as you said, she's a software engineer also. Yeah. So eventually, she will get a she job. She will work. Yeah. Right. So yeah, all in all, you guys are making money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Rishikesh, thank you so much for yeah. coming. Uh, That's all from our side. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.